in this video, I've got a massive tip for you for defending the formation that I hate to defend in round 22, and that is tight offset, tight end. Got a lot of information for you in this video, so stick around to the end. You're going to want to learn all this stuff. It's really important. We're going to show you how match coverage works against tight offset, tight end, what you need to understand about any compression set in Madden 22 when it comes to defending tight and the best adjustments for those situations. So really excited to jump into the video. Let's jump into it. My name is Cody. If you're new to the channel, we do videos like this every single day and uh, just trying to help people become better at Madden. So if you're looking to get better, uh, hit the sub button. It's free to do that. Also, if you want to learn more about match defense, I've got a whole entire ebook on match coverage in my Patreon membership. If you're not a Patreon member yet, just a little bit about it. It's where you can get access to all of my Madden 22 strategy guides for one price. Uh, we literally have over 22 offensive and defensive guides in the Patreon membership that you can have right at your fingertips just by uh, becoming a member. And then we also do weekly pro tips, meta updates, just to kind of keep you understanding of you know, kind of what the competitive community is doing, how you can counter that. And also more importantly, again, as we get these little subtle tweaks, our Patreon members are the first to know. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below. Okay guys, so I've talked about this formation a little bit um, before. But I, I want to do a really in-depth understanding of, again because this, this is the formation out of all formations that I really don't like to play. And I, I don't like to play it because it's a bro it literally is a glitch formation. Um, it's a broken formation. I can give you a bunch of adjectives for this formation. Um, the formation literally Madden um, for the last, I want to say like it was December 12th or not December, like the December patch in Madden, I want to say 20 that put this coverage into the game for compression and when they did that it really um i don't know why but they've like not improved it and um they've kind of left it as it is and it's essentially um a bunch formation check that is dealing with compression which is a terrible terrible way to deal with it at least to the weak side and we're going to show you why it's problematic um, in this video. So first things first, I want to start with the problem and we'll slowly work through to a solution. I promise by the end of the video, you're going to have the best tight defense that you've had all year long. And it's not just cover two, it's not cover three, it's not cover. We have a really good coverage for you that we're going to show you in just a second. So let's just work through this with me. Hang with me. I want to explain fully the problem and then we'll talk a little bit about the solution. So audibles that you want to have um, just to kind of discuss this today, we're going to be looking at the cover four palms, cover nine, show two, cover six, and the cover four quarters, and really primarily focusing in on how cover four match works against this formation, okay? And the way that cover four match works against this formation is essentially you're going to get a box check to the strong side of the formation, and then you're going to get a meg check man everywhere they go to the weak side of the formation and this is where it becomes very problematic because they basically treat tight offset tight in very similarly to bunch so i'm uh, just gonna set a couple audibles here in bunch because we are going to go over that in just a second um and again i just want some basic things uh just to be able to walk you through so we got z spot flood mesh verts and then um i think we'll be fine with just this we'll grab flanker drive just for fun and then on offense here we're going to come out in y out hb swing i hate when someone calls this play on me because it's so hard to defend this this formation so hard this year not just because the um com formation's already hard to guard but when you put escape artists on top of that it makes it really hard to stop this offense okay so that being said, I want to walk you through just kind of the basic premise of the of the coverage. So um, just trust me, cover four quarters, cover four palms, they play exactly the same when you're playing compression, okay? I'm in quarters, palms will play the same. They're literally exactly the same. What you're going to get on the right side here is actually a really good coverage. So let's say, for example, that I run um, Gronkowski on a corner and I run Bernard on a out, okay? And then we're just... Don't worry too much about the left side. We're gonna mainly look at the right side. What you're gonna notice is we're gonna get a box check and I'll show you essentially what's gonna happen is this guy, eh, I'm on a wrong controller. Uh, this guy right here, Alexander, he's responsible for the top outside corner of the box or essentially anything up and out to his side. So a corner route. If they run a corner route, Alexander will guard them, okay? 
This Defender King is responsible for the top inside corner of the box. So if they run a streak route or if someone runs a deep skinny post route, um, this guy is going to guard that, that player. This guy is responsible for the bottom outside corner of the box. So any flat route or any quick out, he's gonna take to the outside. This guy is actually gonna roll over here and be responsible for the inside of the box. And if there's any crossers coming, um, I'm talking more in lines of drag or quick slant coming from the tight side to the left, he's gonna carry that over here. Now on this back side, really, really important. Um, and again, we're gonna get into a little bit more in just a second. These guys don't play that. These guys don't play that, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna break down exactly what they do in just a second, but they do not do, um, you're not getting the same coverage on both sides, which is ridiculous. It, it makes no sense because you totally should. But anyways, all right. So if you watch this, Gronkowski on the corner will be guarded. I'm just gonna take a sack and we'll show you the coverage, okay? Really, really, really important. So what you'll see, an instant replay this guy is running a corner and so you see here the match coverage switch off see that see that switch off right there and look who's guarding the corner perfect okay this guy's bottom outside corner there's no flat route now watch once the flat route comes into his uh, field of vision he's gonna take the flat route every single time so you see he takes the flat route and then lastly this guy is on the post so the inside quarter will take him vertically man to man Okay, so that's that side of the, of, the, of the formation. Now, just to illustrate my point, we're gonna audible over to Bunch and we're gonna basically run essentially the same thing. So defensively, we're gonna flip our formation because we have to. And now we're going to run Godwin on this skinny post. We'll bring him back in. And then we're gonna have Gronkowski on a flat and then we have Evans on a corner. And I want you to watch. You'll see it plays it exactly the same. So let me jump out and go into replay and break this down for you. So what you'll see is this guy's on the post. So he gets taken by the inside quarter. This guy's on the outside quarter. So who's he going to guard? The corner route. Okay. And then this guy is first to the flat. Who's the first to the flat? The tight end. So he's going to go guard him. And then lastly, this guy is kind of here. Since there's no crosser, he's able to kind of look for work in the middle of the field. That's basically the check. So you see, they're basically exactly the same. Okay, really, really important. Really, really important. So essentially what you have to think this like, this is like, is if I were to motion Bernard, let me see if I can motion him, I guess I can't. Bernard is like the tight end in bunch. Gronkowski's like the slot receiver in bunch. Godwin is like the outside slot receiver in bunch. Now here's where we get a little bit of a problem. Johnson is like the solo receiver in bunch and Evans is like the running back in bunch. And this is where the problem lies, okay? So you're gonna see what I'm talking about. So I'm in cover four quarters. Now we know in bunch that this guy Johnson is gonna be guarded man to man by the cornerback on the outside. Whether he runs vertical or not, it really doesn't matter. And so what you'll see here is he goes with him all the way across the formation. However, he doesn't does it about as dumb as you possibly can. And this is where I get really irritated with this coverage against compression. And if you've ran match against compression, you might be as well. He should, if you think about it, when he runs underneath, he should help in a true quarters coverage, he should actually play this guy, but he doesn't. Watch what he does. He kind of acts like he's going to, and then literally just dumbs out, like completely dumbs out, and this guy dumbs out too. And so you're left with this guy out leveraged to the sideline, and that's an easy completion. And that's really the problem. It's the problem in the play PA shot seams. And I'll show you that real quick. So if I go to PA shot seams, I'm going to put Johnson on a flat. And you'll see that corner will still go guard him. And now I got out leveraged to that side. Now he does play it okay sometimes. But that's, you see the issue. Okay. 
So I uh, want to do one little quick thing here with the adjustments. I want to put, uh, I want to switch Godwin and Evans just so I have a little bit better route running over there. So Mike Evans there, Godwin there. And then we're going to walk through, um, we're going to walk through the rest of the, the defense. So if I go to bunch, let me show you something. So let's say I go to bunch and let's say that I put Johnson on a smoke and I put Bernard in motion to the sideline and I put him on a corner and I'm in, I'm in um, quarters or I'm actually in palms, but it's basically the same for, for, for the purpose of this video. Watch this. Look at what he does. Exactly what he's supposed to do. And this is where I get so irritated with defending compression because this is how it should work. If this guy does not run a vertical route, this guy should not be dumbing out. He should be able to cover the corner. And now we have this guy topping the route, this guy coming under the route, and this guy doing guarding the flat like we want. Okay. Now, one last thing I want to show you. In bunch... If I leave the running back in to like in the backfield, you'll notice something really important. Um, if I put the running back, let's say I put the running back on, you know what, just for fun, we're going to put him on a corner route. We're going to put Johnson on a smoke and then we're going to bring him back inside and then we'll just do something like this to the right. Watch, just want you to pay attention real quickly here to the quarter flat defender, Adrian Amos. Okay. What you'll notice is he will guard the running back man to man to the corner and the safety doesn't do anything. He's because in bunch, what you get is this. And I'll show you just real quick. Okay. You're going to get this, this, this coverage in bunch and it's really pretty decent. You've got man coverage on this guy. You've got man coverage on this guy. That's basically practically how the, the coverage plays out. And then if, if for any reason, let's say that this this guy right here, Johnson, let's say that he runs a, a, a post route, then Douglas will help on that. But if he doesn't run a post route, Douglas isn't going to guard it. What Douglas is going to do is he's going to come over here and rob the middle of the field. Okay. And I'll just show that real quick. So like, let's say I run a streak. Let's say I run a, you know, quick out. And then over here, you know, we'll do something like this. What you'll see is again, look what the safety is doing. Now, in this example, he does end up going back to the streak, but that's because there's no crosser. He's really looking for any kind of thing coming across. And I'll show you one last example for Bunch, and then we'll come and kind of wrap this up for compression and how you can handle it. So you'll see here, same route combo. The only difference is we're going to run a crosser instead of a streak. You'll see that the safety will go guard the crosser to the sideline just like that. Okay, doesn't necessarily always guard it well, but that's his job. Now, let's talk about compression. And this, if, this is where I get irritated. That's not what you get on this on on compression. This defender is not in man coverage on Godwin, and I can prove it to you. If I was to take, again, PA shot seams, I'm going to take the tight end put him on a crosser and then i'm going to flat johnson and i'm going to streak evans just for fun okay i want you to watch you're going to see really important this guy is the guy that's locked on in man coverage on this on that number two receiver this guy is kind of in no man's land and so what you'll see is that quarter flat will go to the flat this guy gets out leveraged and as you can see, there's no help for the one vertical route on the field. So that is basically the problem. <laughs> um, and so what is the solution? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> the solution is actually a little simpler than you would think. The solution is basically to, to create the coverage as it was supposed to originally be created. And I'm going to give you two ways to do that. The first one I like um, is a little bit, the first one is really good if you need that safety help over the top. The second one is really good if you don't, okay? So both are kind of similar though. 
So I'm going to go back to that PA shot seams play. We're going to flat Johnson. Um, actually, you know what? We're going to streak him. No, no, no. Let's let's first flat him, and then we'll, we'll show you a streak. And then we'll just do this. Okay? So what you want to do here, remember, we're getting a, bo a solid box check to the right. So we, we have good coverage to the right side of the field. Not too worried about it. Um, so what we're going to do, though, is we're going to man up this slot onto uh, Godwin. And then we're going to man up this corner onto the number one. And that's going to leave this guy in his coverage. Now, I'm going to come back and deal with the crossers in just a second. Actually, you know what? Just for fun, let's uh, let's put a drag on the field just, just to kind of help us a little bit with this. But I just want you to see something with this play. When you do this, this inside quarter is now able to help on that corner, as you can see. And he basically guards it pretty well, actually. And we'll jump into instant replay and kind of show that, and then we'll show something else alongside of that. So again, this guy, we already know he's in man coverage. We're just kind of formalizing it by hot routing him to man coverage. You see he guards him. Really important here. This guy's in man coverage. He guards him. Now this guy is now going to be reprogrammed based off of this and he's not going to get out leverage so you'll see here he still does i guess but it's not as open and as you can see he's able to pick this off you can't make that throw the other thing that i want to show you is this guy is our three rec hook and remember i said in a box check he's going to take any shallow crosser from the bunch side to across so you see here he takes this route all the way to the sideline now i'll give you another example of the same basic principle and then we'll show you another um, another coverage so now let's say that we streak johnson uh, we streak this guy we we have this guy on a uh, corner we're going to put the running back now on a in route and we're going to put something like this okay popular setup same adjustments. We're going to man up this guy and man up this guy, and that's it. And I'll come into who you use her in just a second. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But what you'll see is this will play pretty decent. Now we have one major problem, and I'm sure you already saw it. The three rec does his job, but he doesn't do it like quick enough. So you'll see here, he guards him. But for whatever reason, he freezes. I'm not honestly sure why, but I can throw this and get, you know, 15 yards. Now, same thing, same interaction here. So we have this guy on a vertical, and the idea is if you look real closely here, I think it's important to understand. This guy, 29, he's still only helping out on the corner route. Okay, see that? So that's something you need to be aware of, and that's going to lead into our last tip here with this coverage. So what is the best coverage for this? Palms, quarters, six, nine. It doesn't honestly really matter because you're going to be having forced, by, by very nature of the coverage, you are forced to have to adapt your defense for what they're going to do because of the fact that these rules on the left side are so bad. So what I like to suggest to people and this is the format coverage that I've had the most success with. Another thing you have to understand is your auto flip is kind of screwed up. So if I go cover six, to me, this is insane. What? Be, it's because the tight end, when you have auto flip on, the tight end makes this the weak side. And so that's a problem <laughs> because now you have a coverage that doesn't work over here and you don't have a coverage that's a box check over here. So you might as well just call cover two, right? So don't call cover six unless you're gonna turn auto flip off and you're gonna put your slot corner to the right side every time. Um, that's something you need to really, really think about, okay? Um, but what I would suggest that you do is call cover nine. And here's, I'm gonna give you a couple reasons as to why. We know that we, this number 18, if you think about the routes that he's gonna be on, if you go through the Saints playbook, 
Does he ever run a vertical route? Hardly ever. There's Saints drive out. There's Saints wheel. There's PA shot uh, seams. He's not. Okay. And if he was, I'm going to show you what we can do here in just a second. But he's rarely on a vertical route. So what I like to do, and it makes it super easy from an adjustments perspective. We have this soft squat. What I like to do against compression is to base a line and press if you want to press. You don't have to press, but I like to press. And now this this soft squat defender, you can you can honestly you could put him in a cloud, you could put him in a hard flat, you could put him whatever you want. It doesn't matter to me. He could stay in the soft squat for all I care. It really doesn't matter. I like to put him in either a cloud flat or a hard flat though. And I'm going to explain why. He's going to do a better job at defending that running back when he comes across. He's also going to do a pretty good job at defending a corner route. Let's say they do a hot route master corner route to the number, uh, eight, the outside receiver there. Okay, then really important, the only other thing that I do is I'm going to take Sullivan and man him up on the slot. Now, he has outside leverage. Really important. Why is that important? Because notice that he doesn't move whenever I man him up. Now, if he moves, it's really not a big deal. But now he has outside leverage on this corner. So PA shot seems. You see he runs with him. And notice that the deep half also helps with that, with that route. Really, really, really cool little defense. Now, if you don't, I mean, it's, it's honestly not a big deal. If I was to, um, and the press is even better. So if you want to, you don't have to base align this. You just literally, I just want you to make sure that you man this guy up right here. And the one thing is that this cloud can kind of be misaligned and I'll show that real quick. So if I take the, this is a very popular setup right here. And I just want you to see how this works. Look at how good the defense is though. And if you look at this cloud flat, they basically have to check it down to him. But it's not like super, super good. Now the three rec, in my opinion, doesn't play this properly, unfortunately. But he's there to come up and help on that corner. And then watch, he's going to come down. If they throw this, he's going to come down and make that tackle. Now, if you really want to be a little bit more aggressive, then, you know, against a concept like this, what I would recommend is to call cover six, or I'm sorry, not cover six, cover nine. Shade your coverage down. That gives you hard flats on both sides, so you're going to stop the drags. And you have the three regs, so stop the drags. And then just man this guy up right here. And now what you'll see is a really good little defense for this. Both drags are covered. Now that out route is still kind of there. But that's where I'm saying if you got a good corner, you get a good press on him. It makes it a lot harder to hit that. Um, one last little pro tip with this cover six. If you really want to lock down that corner route. Um, this, If they motion out, you need to, you need to check out of this. But if they're still in compression like this, what you can do is inside quarter this defender. And what this will do is against PA shot seams, you'll see that now the inside quarter will still help and recover on that. And again, it does get open a little bit there, but that's more, more so because we don't have a good co corner in that slot to be able to guard him. Put your best corner in the slot um, and, and what you can do is if they flip, so let's say they flip, then guess what you do? You call cover six, um, or if you want it, or if you want to, if they flip, then you flip. And now your corner is over here in a good matchup for him. So this is a simple way to play this. And it's one of my favorite ways to stop, uh, to stop this formation. As you can see, it's just very effective. So cover nine and or, or flip the cover six. Um, if you have a cover six in your playbook, that's all you have. Run it flipped on this. Um, it will help. There's really not a lot open if you actually think about it. 
when you do this. So if I'm in cover nine, let me just show you. So let's get away from the slot, even though that is the biggest problem. That's why I like to cloud flat here. And then typically what you can do from a, from a coverage is you can bluff blitz over here on the side of the running back. That'll help guard that. And then you can have a vertical hook right here. So that's a way that you can kind of, you know, kill two birds with one stone. But take a look here on the right side. This out route is going to get uh, played decently. Now, the way that you want to fix that, and this is where, again, you know, you kind of have to fix some of these challenges. But you just simply take this guy and put him in a curl flat. Um, and then that will basically fix that for you. You know, so something like this. Literally, you come out, cover nine, shade up, put this guy in main coverage, and then vert hook, and boom. And that shade up will automatically put him into a curl flat, um, a curl flat zone. So you can do that as well. That's another real simple solution. Um, and I'll show you real quick. You'll see that curl flat will kind of flow out. And the other thing you can also do with this, again, I, I'll come back to it again, but base a line. Base a line. I mean... You could just literally do that. Um, if you want to use a cloud flat, then you could do that. Um, I would probably move this guy over here, to be honest, just just because of how they're going to run their offense. This is more, you know, a little bit more in line because this guy's going to have better leverage on that. And then again, boom, boom. And you have your two clouds on both sides and you have your matching principle. And you'll see here that this out route, and again, that's a linebacker, but if that's a better guy, he'll... You know he'll play that um you know so again and this, this is why i like cover nine so much so anyways um so you can do that on that side just purple this guy and you know you might i mean again you just don't want him to jam the tight end that's the weird it's the weirdest thing but this this out route is one of the weirdest routes of the game there you see there plays it perfectly pretty much so as long as he doesn't press him you should be fine and one other thing that you can do is you can shade outside that'll help just a little bit with this and then again you want kind of this coverage right here and this is about the best coverage that i have found for this now um let's say for example that they run you know again if you look at anything to the right side like they're gonna be it's it's hard to run anything to the right side of the field so let's say they run you know something like this if you will your responsibility is if it's a crosser from the from that strong side, you do need to carry that. So you'll see here that three rec will come off, play the running back, and then as you can see, you're playing pretty well. Now again, if it's only it's it's mainly if it's like a deep crosser, you need to go to that side. And then the last little bit of this that I want to show is how to shoot the run, because I don't like guard, I don't like having to deal with the run. If they run the ball, this is a really good defense for that that run. And I'll show that one more time. So again, cover nine. You're going to shift your linebackers to the to this side. You're going to curl flat that guy. From here, you can be just fine. You can literally just be done. Um, I would just make sure that you man up that number two receiver. And you can go from there. Like literally, this is fine. This, this defense will play really well for you. Um, and then if they run the ball, you're just coming right down here and shooting the run. So... This is the best defense that I have found for tight offset tight end. By far, have those two curl flat, cloud flat, vert hook type stuff that you can send if they escape out. And then you also have your user there to be able to shoot the run until they fix this coverage in Madden um, to where we're going to get a better... I just want true quarters on the left. I mean, if we just had that, it would make this such a good, so much better of a defense. So hopefully in Madden 23, that'll happen. But this is the best that I've found for tight. Um, and I've been working on a, a good defense for tight all year. So this right here is the best um, coverage. If you want to play match, if you want to play cover two, play cover two. But I think if you want to match it, this is the best match to go with. Cover nine, man up the slot. And I would shift linebackers to the running back side out of nickel normal because it really helps you shoot the run. If you want to learn how to blitz out of nickel normal, learn the rest of the ebook, I'd really encourage you to join our Patreon. Everything's in there. All the match coverages are broken down in insane detail, as well as all of our pressure concepts and zone drop defenses. So if you want to check that out, 
There's a link in the description below and you can get that defense for just uh, $10 for joining the membership. And the cool part is you get all, all the strategy guides, you get all the pro tips and everything. So if you want to check out the Patreon, there's a link in the description.